Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte and today we're going to be talking about all of my stats which helped me get a four year Army ROTC scholarship. I'm just gonna be sharing like my GPA, my SAT scores, and my extracurriculars. Also, can't forget about the PT part. So first, I wanna go over what exactly the Army scholarships are. There is a scholarship for four years. There's also a scholarship for three years. It's pretty simple. I also applied for an Air Force scholarship and those were a lot more confusing. So a four year Army scholarship, that basically consists of 100% full tuition. However, it does not pay for your housing, also the dining fees, but it does pay for basically everything else. And the really nice thing that I'm super excited about is you also get a $420 monthly stipend. You don't have to use it for anything specific. It's just giving you money saying, here you go. Thank you for doing RTC. Also, it gives you a $600 book stipend every semester. If you talk to any college student, they will say there's no way you're going to spend $600 every semester for books. My stats for academics, I had a 4.47 GPA. Unweighted, my school actually didn't do, but my counselor kind of did the math for me and she said I had like a 3.98 or 4.0. So I was pretty high up there. So overall, I ended up taking eight college level classes. When I submitted my army scholarship application, I was in the top 10% of my class. And then when I finished high school, I was in the top 5%. And then I took the ACT and I got a 26 on that. I did decent. I definitely didn't do as well as I wanted to do. I knew all the colleges that I was applying to were test optional. So I was like, hmm. I think my grades and my extracurriculars should stand for themselves. And I don't think that I need to have this test to represent me. That was just my opinion, but with the Army scholarships, and I think all ROTC scholarships, they do have a minimum score that you need to meet. And with Air Force that I applied for, the minimum was a 26 on the ACT, so I was like barely squeezing by. Then in the Army, um, the minimum was a 19 on the ACT. So in the Army's eyes, I was a rock star. Now let's go into extracurriculars. One of the first things that I was really consistent with was NJROTC in high school. As you guys know, I talk a lot about JROTC because I think it's awesome. I was drill team captain. I was also a member of the drill team for all four years. I was a member on the PT team, which is physical training team for three years. And I also was a mentor my senior year. I earned the rank of cadet master chief and there's only one person in the whole unit that receives that rank, considered to be the top three in the unit. One thing that my recruiter at the college I'm going to says that a lot of JROTC kids in high school think that all they need is JROTC to get into the academy or get a ROTC scholarship. But he says that is actually not what they want to see. They want to see multiple sports, multiple clubs, and JROTC is nice to have. I also did some clubs. I was in the Young Democrats Club for four years. I was the vice president. I was the National Honor Society for two years, my junior and senior year, and my senior year I was a historian officer. I was in student council for two years. I was a class representative my first year. My senior year I was the social media specialist and also the historian as well. I did freshman JV basketball my first year in high school. Didn't like it too much so then I switched over to track. I did indoor track which is winter track and then I also did spring outdoor track and then in the fall I did field hockey. I started that my sophomore year never even played a single game in my life, but somehow earned a starting position my first year of ever playing it. My senior year, we ended up making it to the state tournament, which was just amazing. We earned our first ever district title. I also did a county organized league. I did basketball, well, it was a rec league, so it was just for fun. I did that for three years in high school. Within those sports, I not only participated in them, but I also excelled in them with varsity field hockey. I was named the offensive player of the year my senior year. For track, I was was named the MVP three different times. I hold multiple school records. I've been to states, I think three or four times in my career. You should not only participate in them, but strive to be the best you can be, add a few titles, add a few awards within that sport. On top of that, I also worked. I had a job at Rita's that I worked since my sophomore year. So I was working probably like 10 hours to 15 hours a week, depending on how busy my schedule was. All right, now let's get into my absolute favorite part, my PT scores. 
So the Army ROTC physical fitness test is pretty straightforward. It's just a one mile run, a one minute push up, and a one minute sit up. Going into it, I actually had zero idea what the maximum was and what the minimum was. I tried to figure it out, but I couldn't find anything. All right, I started off with push ups. I got 50 push ups in one minute. So I made sure that someone had their fist here and my chin was touching their fist to ensure I was breaking 90. My dad was the one holding his fist out for me. He's a real one. And then for sit-ups, I got 70 sit-ups in one minute. And then for my mile run, I got a seven minute and one second mile time. So I was super happy about that. I trained for my push-ups, I trained for my sit-ups, and I really trained for my run. If you're thinking of applying, that's definitely something you need to do because Army does take into account your scores. They're a very physical fitness focused branch. They will be very impressed if you can max everything out. And that's exactly what I did. So to save you the struggle, if you're going to apply for an Army ROTC scholarships and you're trying to figure out the max and mins, I have actually found them. My recruiter from my college has actually sent them to me. So I'll put them right here and you can just screenshot them and save them because it's good to know what your goals are. You're welcome. All right, so that's pretty much it for my stats. If you guys have any other questions about my application, feel free to ask. My next video is gonna be about the five mistakes to avoid in your ROTC application. And I actually have done a previous video about me reading my Army ROTC scholarship essays that I wrote. So if you're interested in that, you can just click right here. I'll put it somewhere. <laughs> that's pretty much it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you in some way. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!